moving on from that what else have we got here to cover oh yeah carly close buying id magazine am i the only person that doesn't really like this news Am I the only person that thinks this is probably the end of ID Magazine as we know it? Of course, we all know magazines aren't really, you know, especially ID, they're not really the most counterculture, punk, um, you know, um, youth-led manifesto that they once was when they were launched. We know that. But I feel like Carly Close is like the antithesis. She's like the complete opposite of that anyway, right? Even if she wanted to try to be that, she's a complete opposite. She's obviously really young. She's obviously got a lot of, you know, experience in mod in certain fashion with her modeling career and whatnot and everything else she's done in fashion. But I feel like as a person, she's probably the worst person that you'd want to buy a magazine like ID that's trying to keep on, you know, the edge of flipping counterculture, that's trying to represent the kids, the new generation coming up. And that's just trying to be a fun interesting fashion magazine there's nothing fun and interesting about carly close when it comes to being a model when it comes to being a fashion inside or anything there's not you know i don't really see kids thinking about her in that way maybe in terms of a model in terms of someone to look at fair enough but she's just not she's probably the last person i'd want to buy a magazine like id and it's a really sad situation to see to be fair but again it kind of i guess maybe we have to wait and see how it kind of plays out but so far considering what i've seen online about her initial uh, move to basically stamp her authority on id was to get rid of that ceasefire post that id had on their instagram post right um regarding the conflict going on at the moment now between israel and gaza and shit right obviously free palestine until the end but that move already showed me that it's definitely going to be a lot of that kind of you know involved in terms of how she's going to operate id a lot of her own politics are going to influence it. again for better or worse i guess it kind of is what it is but i just think that being your first move considering what the current vibe is at the moment with what's going on with god with, with, with the current flipping genocide going on now at the moment you kind of have to read the room and you kind of maybe have to i would say acquiesce a little bit to your readership and maybe understand what position they're kind of holding or if anything if you want to be a little bit you know if you want to be a little bit forward thinking maybe use the opportunity to have you know very interesting detailed uncomfortable conversations with both sides right maybe have representatives from israel representatives from places palestine essentially i would say quote unquote fighting their case or presenting their case via the magazine in that way maybe that's a great way to go about it but for her to kind of do the first move again this has been for some what i've been seeing on twitter this has been something that's been ratified by a lot of people who basically been saying oh that post was on there before i think this is the one right um it's um as you can see here somebody posted it on fashion twitter actually and i think this is on around november the 10th they posted yeah um ceasefire now and the caption was this weekend millions of people worldwide will merge <coughs> sorry solidarity yeah most many people worldwide will dance sorry sorry dance march and solidarity to palestine people um who are at risk of genocide with the violent via the violent acts carried out by the israeli government so that was on there before and of course if you look now at the id instagram page you will see that that ceasefire post isn't there anymore it's not there all right clearly they've kind of decided to sort of move on from that and basically she decided i guess to plant her flag in the ground as to where she kind of stands in that conflict which makes sense right when you consider who she's married to gerard kushner and everything you kind of get why that happened it's no surprise but i just think it's a weird first move to make when you're taking over such a youth led um you know i'd say mostly left leaning you know magazine to make that your first move is really strange if anything um you just continue on and just kind of put that to bed and maybe not add to it and uh, that might be one thing but to go on and kind of delete that it feels a bit strange to be me in my own personal opinion and again um having read a few things to people on the inside via fashion twitter that was essentially something that she did so anyway let's read a cut article that kind of breaks down what actually happened so it says the following <coughs> Sorry about that. It says, looks like Carly Close is adding to her roster of glossy magazines. The supermodel has officially acquired ID Magazine, a beloved publication that covers fashion, music, and youth culture from Vice Media, which filed for bankruptcy earlier this year. According to WWD, Kloss will reserve as CEO while current editor-in-chief Alistair McKim will stay on as chief creative officer and global editor-in-chief. By the way, this ain't going to last long also. Um, whenever somebody like this comes in, she's probably got her own ideas on who wants, you know, who she wants to be a chief executive officer or global, you know, editor, sorry, global editor-in-chief. And even though Alistair McKim has done some amazing things over the years, it's definitely one of my favorites when 
it comes to the current roster over there at Flipping IED, um, don't be surprised, especially some of his styling work, don't be surprised if Addison McKinn gets the boot very soon or he ends up leaving, you know, via fucking, you know, mutually consent, whatever that thing is. Um, I'm sure she's going to bring in her own people. There's no way he's going to stay there for a long time, especially if she starts kind of, you know, pushing her politics down his throat and shit um, or starts to kind of, you know, really have a handle on what goes on the page what goes on the instagram what goes on the pages of the magazine it continues rumors of the supermodel purchasing a publication have been rumbling around the industry since late august and close is no stranger to purchasing media in 2020 the model led a group of investors including fellow model kai gerber f1 racer star lewis hamilton producer jason bloom to purchase w magazine again why it's no wonder that magazine's gone to, every magazine she's touched so far has gone to shit i used to buy w i used to buy id and they've all gone to shit so well id is obviously going to go to shit soon but it's no surprise really her she definitely got the you know the opposite of the midas touch i feel like it seems close a model turned entrepreneur and essentially proxy to the billions of the Kushner estate um has been building a diverse portfolio of our own notably cod Co cody with Clossy, which runs a free coding campaign for girls and a closetti honestly this is the person that you want to fucking buy id she's got a coding with Clossy and a thing called Closetti, a fashion-based world within the Roblox metaverse that allows players to style themselves and climb the ranks and become editor-in-chief. Yo, that's so fucking shit. That sounds so fucking lame. The names of the company are so fucking uncreative. It's no surprise that my prediction will probably end up coming true. ID is definitely RIP'd. If it's not RIP'd already, because again, I haven't bought a recent ID, a copy of ID in a very long time. I've got a pretty decent collection of stuff i'm going to probably go through now and show you of old ids i used to kind of purchase back in the day some from ebay and some just from the shops and shit but i haven't bought id in a very very long time um you know i don't really care for it as a magazine anymore especially with the internet being what it is but i just don't think it's you know on the cutting edge as it once was and of course most of it has to do because of all the cool and interesting people that used to work at the company have left on to do their own thing but yeah if anything, if I wasn't buying it then, I'm probably not going to buy it under the stewardship or leadership of Carly Close, to be fair. Like, again, a person that's got code code with Clossy and code spelled K-O-D, obviously because her name is Carly Close. It's like, come on, bro. Get over yourself. She also has reportedly invested in several digital startups including a business that aims to integrate um, digital authentication IDs into clothing. Fucking now could you get more big brother than that fuck me sure it takes more money to buy a magazine but it takes grit and borderline sheer insanity to write for one carly join us won't you don't be some far figured over here lord but put pen where the wallet is and get that byline <coughs> i don't know why the cut is kind of pining for her a little bit it's giving fucking zionist propaganda but hey we move and um according to the lovely lauren sherman this is the inside scoop it says carly closes bedford media has acquired id from vice as we said she'll serve as id ceo while Ed Alison mckim will be promoted to chief executive officer so chief creative officer and global eic <clears throat> terms of the deal weren't disclosed so like i said i still think if you're Alison McKim, you've probably been around long enough. You know Wagwan. I think he's aware his days are probably going to be numbered. Um, you know, get the most as you can out of it. And I would anticipate, most likely or not, she'll probably end up getting her own person um, to have that role very soon because I'm sure they'll come to some point where there'll be disagreement in terms of politics, in terms of direction, in terms of micromanagement, whatever it may be, right? In notes, giving, whatever. Because, you know, she bought the company. She bought the magazine. It's her thing. I get it. You can kind of do what you want but i think that's going to definitely lead to a lot of issues going forward so don't expect this to kind of last but again like i said for her first move to allegedly to be to remove this ceasefire post i honestly don't see any good things happening anytime soon with idea i think the idea that i kind of knew that i kind of grew up on that was i think a represent a representation of counterculture it was a way for me to kind of get information and understanding on things especially subculture wise in places that i probably would never visit and have the body the basically the inside scoop via some incredible writing some incredible editorials some incredible photography and just in general styling uh, music reviews all amazing things i just don't think it's that place anymore if you want to get that sort of stuff i'm sure there are decent enough content creators on tiktok that are probably going to give you a better inside scoop without all the fucking you know zionist fucking tea or zionist salt sprinkled over it so that's the unfortunate side of all those things and it's really unfortunate because again like i said i've got a decent enough collection of flipping id magazines i've shown you here right i've got this 99 97 um, id 
flipping issue with Kate Moss on there, right? Riding the little fucking pony from back in the day. I've got like just too many decent ones. Too, too many. Like this one, you've got another one here. We also got, I've got one with a fucking course cover. If you know, you know, this goes for a pretty penny on the Ebays. And that's just too many fucking good ones, right? I think I've even got one here with, um, with that features Cassie and Diddy, actually. It's a pretty good cover, but considering everything that's been going on, that's probably going to either going to be tanking on eBay or it's going to be going up in value. There's one, of course, with Bjork. I've got a really cool one with fucking Naomi Campbell on the front also. And then, yeah, this is the Cassie Diddy one. The legendary one with fucking Cassie and Diddy from back in the day that I also have as well. So, again, like I said, unfortunate from fucking ID. They're not definitely the magazine that I kind of knew and love or grew up on. No way, shape or form. It is something that I'm really interested in or give a crap about. And unfortunately, if you're currently there, I'm sure you're aware that your days of fun and frolicking around are probably over because, you know, Carly Close is probably the, the complete opposite of cool and somebody that I probably wouldn't be that inspired to be leading my, um, you know, counterculture, youth-led kind of magazine. If anything, it would have been better if she came in and probably just... Maybe replace Alison with Kim, right? But replace them with just maybe some new blood and kind of, you know, acted like a, act like a benefactor in a way, right? Kind of be the money behind the mag, but go be completely hands off and put out a statement, and say, hey, this magazine's obviously been something that I've always kind of looked at when I was younger. It always felt to me like it represented youth culture and was always on the cutting edge of it. Obviously, I'm not the kind of target market for it, but I always, I want to put, I don't know, I want to put the kids in charge and kind of let them sort of lead this going forward. And that would be the great way to kind of do it and to kind of be hands off and kind of let the kids do what they want to do with the mag and kind of go from there and just be kind of like you know the overseeing eye in that respect and put the money behind it that might be an actual good way to kind of go about things and it'll end up being successful i think that way and then you could also be the person that's kind of responsible for the new generation success you could put some people on maybe have some people in between that can kind of report back to you whatever maybe that would have been a better way to go about it but i've got a feeling she's definitely going to want to pull up her her fucking you know her um what you call it <laughs> what was i gonna say She's definitely going to pull up her fucking Tory Birch or whatever that fucking brand is, that dead brand, um, sleeves and get to work and actually think she's actually going to be an actual editor and actually think she's going to be able to tell these kids anything new, which is going to be interesting to see. So let's see how it plays out, but I'm not, you know, I'm not anticipating anything good anytime soon, to be completely fair. So 